right so good day everyone and welcome to this inventors class okay so i'm going to be producing the problem on the screen right now all right the problem on the screen right now okay first of all let us create the part labeled bush bush okay so seeing that part the part shown in the bush is the elevation all right so and if i'm going to produce this i can produce it in two ways i can produce it either via the elevation or through the what or through the plan so if i'm going to produce this through the elevation i'm going to use revolve that is the same way it is standing i'm going to use revolve but if i'm going to produce it from the plan then i'm going to use what extrude okay so let me produce it for the plan instead of me disturbing myself all right and why do i need to produce it for the plan because of that small hole of uh diameter let me confirm diameter with that small hole this that small hole is diameter what's the diameter six okay so there is no way i'm going to revolve that small hole on a single sketch i need to create another sketch before i can actually include that hole which i will see what use extrude so let's move okay so the first diameter there is diameter 30 if i pick my circle all right after diameter 30 i'm having five from the left five from the right which is what's 10 10 minus 30 is what that's 20 then i press what enter i what i finish my sketch then i'm going to what extrude it to the height the height is what 37 37 and i'm going to press what okay okay so uh, i'm going to advise you to use uh, a mouse an external mouse which is going to actually make the work easier all right it's going to make it easier okay so now as it is we need to put that hole of what of diameter six and that hole cut across that is from this side to here to the other side over there all right so how do we do that come to the mark of origin here okay so i can pick any plane any plane that is actually standing be it xz or what or xy any of those two planes all right so let me pick either of xz picking that take a look at it you see that what it slices this object into what into two equal halves vertically and that was actually made possible because what i drew the circle at i placed the circle at that point of intersection of the fall line when i created my sketch okay that was the why this one was actually possible sitting at the, at the center so create new sketch right there okay i need to actually slice it if you know about sectioning in technical drawing sectioning so i'm going to slice this object now so that you can see what is actually inside can you see all right so picking my circle i'm going to draw my circle for so then that was then that six enter so the height of my circle from uh the bottom to the midpoint is what is 18. so this area to here to the bottom here is what 18. i'm picking what 18 enter then i'm picking what finish my what finish my sketch okay so picking my extrude now you can see to one side but i need it to cut across both sides so what am i going to do i'm going to come here distance to the what all can you see then i'm going to pick this arrow that shows that what symmetric both ends picking that so as it is also it is still solid so i'm going to what create a hole look at this cut i press cut can you see now so it gives me what a hole so that one is what is settled but for more artistic view to make it more better so let's make use of uh something like uh brass soft yellow okay so then the view visual style i'm going to make it what realistic so that is the first part i'm going to name it as what as bush b-u-s-h bush i save it now all right so that is that about that so i'm going to create uh the second part all right the second part which is under the bush right there okay i can call that either the body or frame so let's create that so with my control n with my control n i'm going to what, create a new sketch i'm creating a new sketch all right so i have a new sketch now so i'm going to click on start to the sketch i'm going to pick any plane i'm picking any plane so let me pick uh this plane all right let me pick this plane so how do i actually go with this now how do i go i'm going to actually draw this from the plan all right let me draw this from the plan so that plan is the last drawing underneath where you see the arrow of section a a all right that's the plan so picking my circle right here i draw my first circle here of diameter what diameter 50. 
enter diameter 50 okay so towards this area the bigger circle there is what circle of diameter what diameter 40 then i press what enter also so i'm going to pick hidden line i love my drawings to go to be centralized why should it be centralized in case if i want to create a new sketch anywhere so that it can be actually easier for me okay so i've picked what hidden line here then i'm going to what, pick my line picking my line i'm going to actually create a thin line at the center there do you see okay i have this thin line now so if I dimension the midpoint from this circle to this circle as it was given in the question is what distance of what distance of 100 1 2 distance of what 100 enter so that is it now I want this object to what to actually sit at the center so how do I do that I'm going to use my uh, symmetric constraint symmetric constraint so then I'm picking first circle second circle then that thing line at the center can you see so that is it so set to okay so right here i'm having another circle here a circle of diameter what diameter 30. so ensure you all switch off your what your hidden line all right i'll switch it off now circle of diameter what diameter 30 right here then right here i won't actually include that second circle because that circle you are seeing right here it is not a plain circle you can see towards the top of that circle look at the front elevation please the front of that circle is what diameter 25 at the top why its bottom is what diameter 22 so i'm going to actually revolve that i'm going to what, use revolve right there so i won't include that so we are having this line right here a line tangential to each other here and here also so after doing the line i pick my what tangential constraint i constrain this to this all right this to this this to this and this towards to this okay why do i need to use the constraint so that there won't be any leakage and so that the shape might actually uh, be perfect all right so that is the main reason so as it is now i'm going to do some calculations all right so for my own extrude now instead of me extruding like four or five times i'm going to do the calculations once and for all and you will agree with me so if we you will look at the front elevation of that uh, particular drain okay so on that line of thickness of five okay yeah you know on the first circle towards my left and right side there is still some parts above that thickness of five which is for this area here okay so what do we do first of all let us do this area which is what thickness of five first so i'm going to click on extrude and picking this area thickness of what uh five you see i extrude that five towards the what towards the top take note of that okay enter so coming down here on my sketch uh, visibility i have it right there i'm going to click on what extrude again so clicking on my extrude now so picking this particular area all right so thickness of that five i'm going to use this command here asymmetric do you see asymmetric that is to give me top and bottom at the same time so towards the top now five plus three that's what eight towards the top all right now the total height is what 37 so 37 minus 8 will be the figure for the bottom i don't need to start calculating that inventor can actually calculate i'm going to print this to give me what solid shape then i'm going to click what okay all right so that area is what is set to is set to so coming down here i'm going to pick my extrude also extrude also so we are also having uh Three towards the top there because they are on the same plane. Then height of what 25. Picking this area also coming here. This one will be what 8 and this one will be what 25 minus 8. Alright, then I'm going to what click my what my OK. Okay, that has been said like that. So let me hide that sketch here. Okay, now I need to produce the other part of this particular component because it is not done yet. You can, you can see the bottom everything is what smooth like smooth <laughs> right don't mind me so coming back to my origin so these are the techniques i told you guys about so you will know what i'm supposed to do when you come across objects such as this okay so because i've actually positioned my objects correctly from the beginning as i click on this yz plane now you can see what it actually gives me you can see it slices this object into what into two can you see 
you look at it from the top and you see it slices it into two so i don't have issue so that is why the position of your object when you started your drawing matters a lot don't just draw anyhow because if you draw anyhow it is going to give you problem here though if you draw anyhow if you know what you are doing you can actually maneuver using this area here but that's going to actually waste your time all right it will waste your time so so ensure you position your object very well properly at the center before proceeding so clicking on that plane i'm going to create sketch after creating my sketch i need to see what is inside so i will click on this slicing it clicking on what this i wrote actually sliced it so slicing it now can you see so i'm going to uh first of all deal with this one right here okay i'm dealing with this one right here let's do this down here all right yeah okay set up and before we proceed let me click on what cut edges project cut edges so we can you see that okay now the height from here to here is height of what three enter okay and the height from here to here also is what three enter and this is the question so this one is from then so using that constraints this come back here right here so can you see its position now so this constraint is called a uh, coincidence constraint is for you to actually position your object where it actually ought to ought to stay okay so that is that about that then i'm going to what finish my sketch i actually ought to do that whole of diameter 25 at the top and 22 at the bottom but i don't want to actually rush you guys so let me do it one after the other so that you can see okay so clicking on my extrude i click on this part all right the thickness there is what is also going to be five since that top is five so i'm going to press my what my five and it must be positioned at where at the center so you click on this symmetric you can see it's positioned in way at the center then i'm going to click on what okay okay so that is it set to can you see so now all we have left is what to create that hole that irregular hole that we have here so still clicking on my yz plane okay i'm going to what create a new sketch all right and i'm going to what slice that sketch slicing that sketch right here i'm going to uh pick no let me undo that project okay i can leave. no let me undo it i'm undoing that project called geometry i did earlier all right i'm undoing it i'm undoing it so first of all let me pick a line a center line yeah i use a dim line let me draw this line at the midpoint here yeah that line is at the center right there all right so that line is positioned that way so removing the distance i'm going to draw a line in this manner like this can you see the shape of that line all right so set to now the diameter of that area at the top is what's 25 so from this midpoint right here with what 25 divided by 2 25 divided by 2 set to then at the bottom is what 22 so 22 divided by 2 is what 11 that's it over there okay then i'm going to what uh click my line cover this down here then also from this point i'm going to drag the line down here can you see then from that point i'm dragging that line down there okay then i'm going to click on what finish sketch can you see so now i'm going to pick my what my revolve command picking my revolve command you see it already shows there i will just pick my what axis picking my axis and we pick this line here can you see please take note of that i pick that line you see it's reverse for me so that's solid i will now pick what cut can you see it gives me what the old as you can see on the screen right there so that will be uh perfect so we are told that all radius there uh, should be uh, in the question all on dimension radius should be what radius three so picking my fillet radius what radius three then i would i apply this here i'm going to uh apply this here also all right so Yes, can we actually apply it? Applying this right here. 
right there then right there also all right right there right there right there right there okay okay so we have this right here as it is so this part is also what true so let's give it a finesse me i like something to look attractive you understand let it look real realistic so let me pick a uh, steel alloy you can see and i'm going to pick a few visual style to do what realistic and you see so then i'm going to control s so let us call this uh body all right body body let's name it as what as body of frame that body of frame let me name it as body so i'm going to what save that all right so i'm going to create the third part with my control n okay it's my control n creating the third part okay let us create the washer that washer that is there we are not giving dimensions but you know that the whole of that washer is going to be what all of n18 n18 so clicking my circle coming to this center i'm clicking 18 based on the note you are seeing there that note is written what n18 then for the distance i'm clicking what 30 enter and i'm going to what finish so this washer we are not giving dimensions for it so we assume so thickness let me make the thickness to be what three all right okay so i can make use of something like let's say copper alloy something like that okay control s so i'm naming it was washer all right so to create the next part create okay all right so let's create the knot start to this sketch we are creating the knot our knot is what m18 m18 so i'm going to actually come here okay i'm picking polygon which is what an hexagon six-sided i'm drawing this this manner i'm picking dimensions across corner you remember this one mg21 across corner across corner i'm using what 30 also then for my old i'm using what i'm using 18 because it is what m18 diameter stands for the what the diameter of what of your threaded area so the thickness we are not given so let me stand with 10 i stand this what with 10 okay all right so then click on this face to make it look good yeah click on create sketch okay so pick your circle stand at the center extend your circle such that it gives you a tangential constraint as you can see on my screen there click ok finish sketch then click on extrude can you see so when you click extrude click on intersect when you click intersect click on more on more you press what 45 okay then you press what okay can you see that's it over there so we need to trade it pick trade so for most trades in autodesk inventor since we are not applying this one in industrial distance so we don't need to actually start discovering ourselves and picking maybe type of trade or whatever even if in the question in the specified social trade this one is just a uh, school work you understand so it doesn't matter just use the default trade that actually comes out so you don't need to stress yourself i believe it is industrial application now yeah we are constructing a trade but this one let's pick the trade given there so i've applied it so to make it look better i'm going to pick let's say something uh silver you understand then view let me pick realistic you can actually pick any design you want over there right so this one i just my own preference okay so not is set to say it remains the last one which is the uh, ball ended paper pen so control n create so take note of that ball ended paper pen you can see that it has some part at the top that looks like a ball bearing it has a part that part of mark of height of 25 which is what tapered it is not a perfect circle yeah it is something conical right and that other part that anything part which is that of 26 that one is what is normal height normal circle so what are you going to actually do here if you want to say you want to use extrude 
you understand you should raise your start there should you you will give yourself problem so best bet is what use revolve we are revolving this okay we are revolving this so let's start picking my line from the center here i drag a line without dimensioning that line over there so picking this down here okay i'm having this here this here this right here right so let's dimension that first of all 18 divided by 2 is what is 9 so i'm measuring 9 okay so there are other techniques to revolve uh, when we want to use this center line okay but i don't prefer that that one is just wasting of time so if i'm revolving any dimension even as the diameter i divide it by two then by the time i revolve it just like you having a radius and diameter in the circle you know radius times two is what is diameter so just draw for the radius by the time you revolve it it's going to what give you the diameter so that is how we move okay height of this one right here is what height of 28 enter all right so that's being settled so we told that we have something like an undercut to base of thread undercut of uh two so this is what we will actually do right there that undercut there the diameter of that area is what is 22 is 22 so i want to come right here okay and the peak okay so now what are you going to do right here this is what you are going to do that undercut of two signifies this coming right here drawing a line of what the mm of what two towards the horizontal pressing what enter then that line extending it in this manner coming right here to the top here and what balancing it back here okay so towards the top we are having uh diameter of what diameter of 25 so 25 divided by 2 divided by 2 okay all right and we are told that the height of that area is what is also height of what 25 that height is what 25 25 enter so that area is also what is also set with now we have the uh, spherical part here to tackle all right so the first part of that spherical part at the top is uh that's radius 10 that radius 10 is what diameter what diameter 20 enter all right and i told that the height of that area down here is mark of what mark of 18 18 enter okay and we are also having another spherical part of radius what radius 6 of radius 6 okay so drain another circle of what radius is that diameter was 12 enter in that manner okay so this with this all right then this and this so do you see that so how do we correct it now picking my dimension from this end to this end towards the top i'm picking what zero enter you see it positions it by itself that's just it then i'm going to what pick my line picking my line standing right here i'm dragging it to here to this point here enter then i'm going to what, use my trim command trim this area up i don't need it yeah i think we are done we are good to go so then i'm going to click my what finish sketch so clicking my finish sketch right now let's position it very well all right now having it in this manner so i'm going to click my what my revolve command picking my revolve command okay i need to, i'm picking this area this area and what this area picking my what axis i'm picking what any of the lines here picking this yeah that's it straight up we have it over there okay so let me chamfer as you can see the hd chamfer maybe something of to this edge okay i'm pressing what okay so see the effect of that chamfer you can see that's the effect of the chamfer right there then i'm picking what trade picking my trade i'm trading this part also and what okay all right so view let's 
give it a fantastic view. A fantastic view. What should we use? What should we use? Let's look at uh, something. Let's check still non alloy. Is this one okay to the eyes? We manage it. View visual style realistic. Let's go with this. Then what? Save. The save is what? Ball ended the pin or any name of your word of your choice. So I think in this question we have any parts the bush, the body, the washer, the nuts, and the paper pin, which is what? One, two, three, four, five, five parts. So part one, part two, part three, part four, and what part five. So that is what settled. Settled. Alright, so what's the next procedure? Let us assemble. Let's assemble it. So became my control N. Alright, I come to standard dot IAM. That's if you want to assemble. Standard dot what dot IAM. Yeah. All those drawings we've been doing earlier on, we use was standard dot what dot IPT. Standard MM IPT. So to assemble, we use what standard MM IAM. I click on that, then I click. You can see that the icon right here changes. So I click on what create. Okay, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading, it's loading. Yeah. My system is all fake system like that. So sorry for the delay. Alright. Okay, now I'm clicking on place content from center. Okay, clicking that is also loading. Yeah, I hope to have an Apple laptop so God can use you for me. All right, <laughs> so let's wait while it is loading. Okay, so it's oh, sorry, that was a mistake. You come to this uh, drop by here. Yeah, you click on place. Yeah, place. So when you click on place now, we see all the stuff we have here. So clicking my this, let me click everything together. This, 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 and what, and this. Then I click on what's open. So how do I cl click everything together? When I click on the first one, I press Control. I click on the second one with my Control still in position. That's how I click everything. So coming down here, you can see. Coming down here, we have this. You can drop it anywhere. Bam! I drop it. So after dropping it, it will still be coming. But I click on what Escape. After clicking on escape, so I need to give myself a better view. You understand, you must position yourself very well before uh, you proceed so as not to make any mistake. So I'm positioning myself very well. Okay, I think this positioning is what is better. Okay, yeah, we are good to go. We are good to go. So the assembly of this one is very simple. Cheap, like plantain chips. Yeah, I'm going to use insert. With my insert, I pick this. Boom. I pick this boom coming down here. Boom. Then pick this boom. Well positioned. I what apply. Okay. After that, I pick my what my washer right there. Can you see? So then make here. You can see apply. Then my knot right here. Picking it. Then coming right here, do you see? Apply. That was all. Okay. Now, what's next? How do we place this? Since there is hole here, there is a hole here. Oh, thank God we are actually viewing this together. Yeah. So you need to be careful. I actually made the mistake. I haven't included this hole. You understand that is on the uh, elevation. So let's do that now. So body back to body. Okay, this is my body right here. Okay, this is my body right here. So, you know, the lecturer said it doesn't need plenty of information here. So, instead of me to create a new sketch on that area right here, I'm going to actually edit one of the sketches I used earlier. All right, so how do I do that? Uh, let's look at this sketch two. No, this one won't work. Let's look at sketch four. Okay, I think this sketch four will work. So, clicking double click on my uh, pass two over there, clicking my cut, alright, I pick my hole, all of them, that was diameter six. Hey, I need to ensure that hole is at the center, alright, so, coming here, I have the center, then coming down, I already have the center line, so then, that was diameter six, enter, and the dimension from the bottom to the midpoint of that hole is what, is 18, 18, enter, okay, then what, Finish sketch. All right. So I need to what? Show the visibility of that sketch. My extrude. My old. 
Can you see? I'm going to pick at both things. Place stands all cut and what? Okay. That is the whole is what is there. So I can what? Hide this also. So we are good to go. Yeah, that was a very big mistake on my part, and I am very, very sorry for that. You understand? I'm very sorry for that. All right, so back to our what? Our assembly now. Back to our assembly. So let's see which part will be here and uh, here actually. Okay. Yeah. So picking my mark M. I press letter M. I want to check something. I press letter M. I pick this circle down to this edge here. Mm. Let me press cancel. All right, so how do we place this object here now? How do we place it? I'm going to use my mate constraints. All right, picking our mate constraints. Yeah. So, do you see that view in that manner? Okay. So, picking this view in that manner. All right. Then, coming down here, can you see that view in that manner also? So does it give us what we actually want? No. It did not give us what we want, but we can make it give us what we want. How do we do that? For the word, press what? Apply. Then I'm going to click on constraint again. This face right here. Okay. That face right there. And this face right here. Then click this flush. Do you see? And click what? Okay. So Having that coming right here, can you see? It is what you can see the old throughout. Yes or no? Yes. So that is what settled. So sitting perfectly. I can now what? Press Control what? Control S and maybe save as assembly. Maybe as assembly. Then save. So you can view it from any angle. Can you see? That is beautiful. Beauty. Fantabulous. All right. So we move. We move. Okay, so now the next procedure is creating the work, the working drawing. So that's just it. The two major things you need to actually master is how to produce the parts and how to assemble them properly. So if you assemble them, then the rest is just like you catching crews. It is whatever you do in this area that we actually show forth in the next procedures. So as it was in the man's tutorial, yeah, we are going to create, uh, first of all, uh, the isometric view where we are going to show the part list. That's the first thing I'm actually going to touch for today all right that will be the first thing i'm going to touch so what do we press Control n with my Control n i come to here iso idw can you see iso idw i press what create okay so thank god this one comes up powerful so i'm going to click on what base if i click on my base yeah i think it gives me the object instantly that's it so i did being this is not what it is actually giving you. You can come here. Can you see where my this is? Open this state file. All right. You click on what? Assembly. So that's what you are going to click on. You are going to click what? on Open. But it's already have it here. I don't need to click on Assembly or whatever like that. So all I need to do is just in this manner. And yeah. If I actually position my object this way, let's increase the scale. Let's say 2 ratio 1. Yeah. Is it too big? No. Not to be, I think this one is okay as it is. I think it's okay. So if I leave it this way, then I press okay. Yeah, one thing will be missing. We can't see that was that washer. We can't see that washer as it is. Uh, we need to label the washer. So what do we do? I'm going to double click on this, all right? Open the yash up like this so I can see my washer now. So I think I'm going to leave it this way, all right? So move it, leave it this way so that my washer can work, can show. So I think it's better this way, all right? So I'm going to come to annotate balloon, all right? On my balloon, then I'm going to pick this frame. Okay, okay. So that's the pass number for that frame. That one is what automatically generated. You have nothing to do with that. So whatever number it gives you, just go with it. But it won't give you more than five parts because the part you created was five. Okay, so. The washer 
is here also. Enter. We have this bushing. This bushing is here also. Okay. You left click and press on enter. Okay, then we have uh, the note. Note also. You left click and press on enter. So we have the five listing right there. Okay, what's next? Part list. Click on my part list. I'm going to click on browse file or contents. All right. I'm going to click on what assembly. I'm going to click on what open. You can see it. Then I'm going to click on what OK. So clicking on OK, it should be at what immediately above my what my title block right there. That's it set to. So this one is entry. I need to reposition this right here. Okay. So I think it's better that way. Well, you can also reduce this way if it is too big for you. Yeah, you can reduce the ratio. Something like let's say two ratio one point five. Let's see. I think this one is better, a little bit smaller. Okay, okay, let's go with that. So that's better. So now on our part list, you double click on this this part number. We change it to what part name? Format color. I right click and I click on what format color. So instead of number, I name it our part name. Part name. Okay. So each of those parts, we are going to state how they are they are what they are produced. For example, now. All right, so yeah, I did meta work in FC, so I know about most of these machines. All right, so that one added to my theoretical exam, uh, knowledge gave me a, a slight advantage. You understand? So I know how these things are being produced. So, like this ball ended paper, whatever I click on it, clicking on it, it is produced on a late machine. So, I'm going to press uh, machining. Yeah, there's this procedure we call machining, I will call machining. M A C H I N I N G machining and threading, yeah, threading on what on lit. That's the procedure right here. Sorry, I missed my spelling here. A N D and threading on lit on body. The body is purely produced on lit machining and. Okay, machining and milling. Yeah, there is milling. There is also milling. Machining and milling. Let's leave it that way. So for the bush, we are going to press uh, machining and boring on lit. Right. That machining is also known as turning. All right. So for the nut, we press. Threading T H R E A D I N G threading for the washer we press boring or lit so that is it. I'm going to press this line. Okay, I think we are done. So we need to position it very well. So I'm going to pick it this way and position it in this manner. So that is that about that. So when you press Ctrl S, let's press OK. Okay to all. As you can see, it is actually showing what assembly here, and that man is going to actually uh, complain about that. Okay, so he said you should change it right here. So I'm going to come to ISO field test, right? Click on field test, edit field test. Okay, I'm going to come to that area that carries part number that shows assembly. Click on edit summary. Okay, this is the pass number that is assembly. So I want I cancel it and I press what? Okay. And I press what? Okay, you can see it is what clear now. So I'm going to come to uh, annotate text. Right here, we write what? Uh, isometric view. Right? Okay. So this area we write what scale and the scale we use there is what scale uh, scale what I think the scale we use here is should be two ratio one point five if I'm not mistaken. Okay, 
all right so that's set to download control s escape so we are good to go with this part this part is what settled all right so let's create the uh orthographic view of this full assembly part control n all right it's already in place i'm going to press on create so when it pops up my base clicking on my base checking it out the position so i'm i'm going to advise you if you are producing orthographic always go with what with first angle yeah if you want to do third angle with this inventor the thing will slide you you make big mistake so go with first angle but if you want to do section you can now uh, alternate it between first and third angle that's your choice but for orthographic always go with first, with first angle i'm going to use first angle for this one right here also okay so i'm having that view right there let's increase the scale let's say one ratio one i think one ratio one is okay so placing it right here yeah i did not press anything the thing is automatic that's why i told you when you drag your mouse like this you don't need to press which will position it by itself bam then to this side positioning it by itself bam if you like if you have time you can put this one but this one is not compulsory actually this isometric view here but you can put it here so i'm pressing what okay i'm pressing okay so you might be saying uh uh instructor mic my own is not showing it in line if your own is not showing it in line it is right here okay so like now if i click this hidden line remove and i press okay you will see no hidden line there okay so if i want to add hidden line i need to double click on the uh primary drawing there then click on what hidden line i will see clicking on my hidden line i have what okay my hidden line is what is back my hidden line is what is back all right so how do we dimension this yeah we have plenty plenty so uh the simple reason is that we can't dimension the whole of this thing right here even the instructor will understand that's the reason why they said we should create each of the parts also autographically so that all those things we can't show you we can show it on there and that's the also that's also the reason why we actually need the sectional drawing also all right so that is that okay let me start with this one here first of all okay so i'm picking on annotate dimensions from this center to this center to the bottom there is what 100 enter okay clicking on this enter clicking on this enter and clicking on this is what enter all right so clicking on this also enter Clicking on this, enter, then clicking on this is what enter. You can see the amount of lines we have there. So, how many do you want to dimension here? That is practically impossible, right? Practically impossible. So, coming down here, I think the position of this to this 18, that one should be shown, all right? The total height right here should be shown also settled okay the mark from here to here should be showed also you can see my arrangement all right so settled also yeah so this also radio steady enter okay so the height here enter this here reduces enter the total height from here down here enter the total height of my washer enter the total height of my nuts All right so let me place this one here enter so it's actually interesting yeah the distance here okay okay come and dimension the distance from here to here is what three enter right i think it's better this way yeah it's better this way so you can put this down here is what two enter maybe this enter yeah i think it's better this way all right 
So what's the next thing to do? The next thing to do is this. come to manage, click on styles editor. So after clicking on styles editor, yeah, my system is fake. You know I told you, but well, at least it's still manageable. So default ISO, clicking on the under dimensions, dimensions default ISO. So right here, comma to period, this to zero, this to zero. Okay, display, yeah, offset two, arrow it three, text, your preference. This always pick the first one under each of these drawbar. Always pick the first one under the drop bar. This all right. The first mark under the drop bar. Okay, your test, even if you change it to 20, the thing will still become big. I don't think whether you notice. So save and close, you can see. Perfect. So we are what good to go. Control S. Control S. You can name it assembly underscore orthographic. Right, save. You can name it anything of your choice, though. so it's not necessary you name it the same way I'm naming it. All right, so that the man won't say, Ah, maybe these people copy. And also, also, if you are doing your own, for example, now the designs, the painting, you can change the painting, those materials, change it. It's not necessarily you do the same thing. And also, for example, now this hundred I place here, you can place your own at the top here. All right, so just make it diversify. All right, just make it. Like this mark of 18, I put at the bottom here. You can measure it from this center to the top here and draw. So just make it, you understand, different, different, something like that. All right. So I believe you're actually learning. Yeah. So one thing I'm very sure of is by the time you are going to finish doing all of these stops, your mode of reasoning, your technical reasoning will have improved drastically. I am very, very sure of that. Okay. Coming down to my ISO right here, fit test, edit, fit test. Clicking on this right here on project, cancel this, then what? Okay, okay. All right, so my annotate text. This area, we call it what? Let's name it assembly, assembly orthographic or to grab. So pressing my okay, yeah. Let me escape it. I've forgotten the scale I actually use, so I need to confirm that. Assembly, I use scale of what one ratio one. Okay, my text coming down here. I write what scale of what one ratio one. Okay, okay, and we are what we are good to go. Control what control S. Right, that one is almost set to now. Let's do the section for the full assembly before we now start doing for the part. So, control N. So, you can see that all these ones are what automatic. So, still maintaining the same ISO IDW you what you create. All right, after you create, you click on what this. So, now on this, there are some areas I need to actually show very well. All right, there are some areas I need to show very well. And one thing about inventor is this inventor, mm, you know, the man was telling you if you are bisecting a boat, if you are bisecting this, you must not hatch it. So, inventor will hatch everything for you. So, but we are going to actually try our possible best at least to limit the errors created by inventor to the barest minimum. You understand? So, that's what I'm going to try and do right here. Okay, so I'm going to place this view now. I'm going to place it right here at the bottom there. Can you see? I'm pressing my what? My OK. So, I'm using port angle for this. All right, so pick my section on my section right now. So clicking on this, so let me position it to the, to the midpoint center. Can you see? So having it at the center, I drag my line down the air. I'm coming. Let me perform more magic. Let's see whether it's going to work. Yeah, we are both learning. Okay, putting this one right here, coming outside the air. Coming this way, okay, then going back inwards right here to the center, coming this way, then placing the top and continue. Let's see what we have. Let's see what we have. I am trying this for the first time. So if it's giving us what we want, then we are good to go. Tada! Confirmed, confirmed. Yeah. 
you can see so this area is actually what's clean had it been i sectioned it straight away down like this all this area will also be what will be hatched all right and by the time you remove it it will be giving you what problem so thank god yeah thank god we are what we are on point so how do we remove the hatch from this boat it is cheap like planting chips that is what you actually paid for all right so clicking on this right here i'm going to what right click then i press what hide you see on the boat itself click on it right click press what hide on the washer click on it right click and what hide so tada that's it so cheap like what like planting chips address i can name it as assembly what assembly section right enter enter so that is you you already know how to change the name of this area here so i don't need to start doing that instead of wasting my time so you can come right here change the name and to whatever you actually want to save our time okay so the next thing is yeah as it is now if i want to show the isometric of this it's going to show the bottom so you can leave it that way for you but it's not necessary you put this, it's not necessary you put this, but you want to include this, no voila. And also, it's not necessary you show the PD views in your section or the graphic. Yeah, there are drawings whereby they only show two views, and those two views will actually give you all the information needed. So take note of that. You don't say the man showed PD, I must show PD. No. So that's it. My hundred right here. Enter. You can see all of these are what? They are what? Automation automation so the main thing is you knowing what to draw from the onset if you can draw your part very well then your section in very well so all these ones are just what you catching crews you are good to go just that this part take time yeah it will waste your time like seriously it will waste time seriously it is time wasting so best bet to enjoy this thing you can do it at night if you don't want to waste your time use your afternoon for something precious and sleep very well so you can wake up around 10 and work till daybreak. So that's what me I do for inventor. So that's what I do for inventor. Even after doing the course, I keep on using it, and that's how I deduce shortcuts, how to maneuver my way. So after the course, don't stop using inventor, please. It is sweet. Inventor is sweet. Yeah, very very sweet. So several works, even in schools, those of you want to employ teaching as a profession. In schools, you add it to your CV. You don't know what is this. By the time you start teaching, so I use this in my place of work to explain concept, all right? And they actually understand it very well. They appreciate it. Even in my department, they appreciate it right there. So it's not limited. Those of you saying, let me just do it and pass. So do it and pass. So after the exam, you can keep on practicing. You deduce several stuff, and you appreciate the beauty of technology. Wow. So all those things I dimension in that first part. That was I going to dimension here. Let me stop here. I'm tired. So go and check that this area that we dimension here. Everything we dimension right here. No. Everything we dimension here. Dimension it over there too. So let's move. Let's move. Okay. Control S. So now come to what manage. This manage of the team. So I won't explain what to do again. So look now. When you press manage you click on style editor after style editor bang 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 you click on what default iso then first one period this one zero this one zero display this area should be what two this area should be what three then text every first item under the drop bar first item under the word drop bar every first item under the drop bar so all of these things should be automatic in your brain. Automation, bam. Yeah, I'm good to go. Set it. So that is it. All right, that is it. Control S. So this is it. Uh, in the next this thing, I won't do full dimension there. Then I won't start pressing the manage all this one. You do that by yourself so as to save time. You understand? We still have a long way to go. All right. So thank you. Kindly bear with me. This. So. Now we are done with the old this thing for the old this thing. So now let's do the part one after the other. The part one after the other, one after the other. So you might be thinking, will this one have auxiliary view? No, auxiliary view won't actually work here because 
yeah, it can actually work. We are going to include auxiliary. Let's do the auxiliary part once and for all. Yeah, auxiliary part will work. All right. But if I have, as an engineer, if I have several parts giving me what I want, if I have your graphic, the isometric giving me what I want, I don't think I actually need this section as well. That's one thing. So let me do this way. Enter. I click my word. Auxiliary. Click in my auxiliary. Auxiliary can only work on any object that has an inclined line like this. You can see that this line is not straight. So that is where auxiliary work. And even everything we have here is vertical and horizontal. Auxiliary won't work. Don't deceive yourself. Except if you want to do auxiliary section. So picking this and coming this way, enter. So you can see everything is what it has hidden line. We need to remove that hidden line. So double click, double click on this in this manner. Then click on this, click on this. Hidden line removed. Okay, that's it. You have it over there. So you save this result as you can put your dimension if you want, right? Assembly auxiliary auxiliary. So do your dimension by yourself, please. I think we we'll explain that. So I don't need to uh, start reciprocating that here. Okay, so let's move to the part. Control N. So you can see this is where the real work is not the drawing itself. So base, clicking on my base, clicking on this column here. Let's start with the ball ended paper pin. Open. So we are going to create two files for this ball ended paper pin. We are creating the autographic and the and the section. That's what the man actually wants to see. So for the autographic aspect, let me increase this one to two ratio one. Is it big? Yes, big but manageable. Front view plan. End view, maybe isometric view, other. All right. Yeah. Let's reduce the scale. Let me put one ratio one and put one ratio point five. How big is it? Point five. I think point five is big. Let's see point six. One ratio zero point six. This one is better. Okay. Yeah. I think it's better this way. Then I'm going to what? Click on my what? My annotate dimension. On my dimension, this one enter. Okay, this one enter. Okay, so this right here, this is where you need to dimension. Okay, dimension this one. Okay, so you dimension the height right here. Okay, dimension this. To this also this way okay and we can mention this to this maybe this way or that way okay i think that's all you need to dimension here so go to your manage style list and do the necessary stuff here so we move we don't need to waste time there do that on your online dead paper in autographic or to graphic so enter so you know you need to change the name here and the name here. So come to your ISO edit test and do that with your using your just like what we did uh, right here. What we did to change the ones here. That was the same thing you apply in here. So more or less it's just like repetition, repetition, repetition. So the French will call it repertoire, 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 repertoire. I don't know whether I'm going to write. So control N, let me do the section of this ball and let that thing create. Right, create. Yeah. So I'm going to click on this. I'm clicking on this. Clicking on ball and the pattern. Clicking on what? Open. All right. After that, I'm going to do it. Okay. Now let me use the plan. All right. So scale of one ratio. Let me use. One ratio point five point five is point five big big point six okay one ratio point six so with this I bring this down here right so now I click on what section click on the section clicking that centralized pan to the top continue okay so it is section click on that section area click on what height we don't section a boat or a story so set to ah, dimension let me just show you what i want to dimension yeah dimension of this one should be the same as i'm 
come in the dimension you are applying here should be the same as this you are applying the same dimension there so then let me waste my time right there okay i want i move you save it with anything you like do the necessary naming wherever wherever okay you name it as all in the department section or whatever so we move so we are done with that part that boy in the department create let's pick another part okay picking another part this picking this I'm picking what body the body okay so let me check okay let me leave it this way so two ratio one so big one ratio one better okay this standing here I'm having the plan the end view and the what the isometric view and okay so my what my dimension this is the orthographic view so dimension this to this down here set to this set to okay this set to okay this set to okay all right this set to okay this set to okay okay this height set to okay this to this okay yeah this okay so i don't know whether the lecturer told you we don't section it in this we don't section it in this apple so this eden parts will be that sorry we don't dimension eden views so this eden views now you know like now this area this area now it is not a perfect circle it is a paper circle that is why if you want to section it you must pick your section location very well so that it will expose this area for uh, those who don't actually know what is actually there so that's the essence of sectioning not that you just section for the sake of sectioning no you section to actually show stuff that are eating all right that we don't actually understand we're looking at it from the, world, from the outside that's why what we section you don't just section for the sake of sectioning all right so that is that so this to this three. Then guys, let me stop here. So you do the next stuff you need to do. It. Go to your manage your style little and say to that there. So save this one with let's say body orthographic orthographic. All right, enter. Yeah, enter. So control N, control N. Yeah. Create, taking my create this, uh, my body, open. So in this way, one region one set to. But right now I'm doing the section, so I pick the what the plan. Taking the plan, coming here, sit down, JJ. So pick my section, click on this. So right there, so that same technique we applied. Then is what we are going to apply here now. Hey, I forgot to you know. Okay, we should have it right. So I'm stopping here. Man. Coming down here. Going like this. Then coming up here. Then coming outside. Then going to the top. That's the technique we use over there. Hey, you see, the thing pieces are sharply. So I did. See what we have here. Pieces, pieces, pieces. So it won't work here. So I was I control Z. I control Z. I control Z. Let's try another technique. Yeah, we are both learning. Alright. Nobody is an island of knowledge. Let me go this way. Hmm. Ah. Come in here. Down here. I want to centralize it there. The top right there. Right there. Right there. Let's see. You. Uh -huh. Perfect. This one is better. Ah, manageable. Yeah. Hey, the thing is split down. It's not manageable. Okay, I think it was actually because of the component inside of it the other time. That makes this possible. Alright. So we need to section it the way it is. So control Z again. 
So let me just use my direct section yeah without wasting my time. Let's pick it directly. So yeah, this, the man also understands that auto desk inventor the developers have some things they need to sort out. So what I'm trying to explain then if I click on this area now, if I click on height, you see it hides everything which ought not to be so because this area actually needs to be sectioned. The only area that doesn't need to be sectioned here is this inside. But there's no way we can do it. So we move, we leave it that way. Okay, we leave it that way. So you are going to now, yeah, you are going to apply the same dimension like the one over there. Those you know are going to add this to it. Add this one to show that this place is what? 22 and this place is what? 25. That is the only thing you add to it. You are using the same dimensioning you actually used here. You are using it there also. So that is it. Then control X. So this one will be body section. Body section. Enter. Okay. So you do the dimension is right there. So let's go to pick another part. Create. All right. Okay, so uh, let's do the third part. Okay, so picking this, we've done ball and then we've done body. Let's do for the bush. For the bush, we do the orthographic and what and the section. So we choose this very well. Okay, uh, scale. Let's use two ratio one. Make it fit better. I think two ratio one is okay. So the plan, the end view, and the isometric view. Which is not compulsory. So, annotate dimension. Okay, on the dimension, this midpoint should be stuck on here. 19. So, the top is 18. We IT is what? 37. Alright. This one here, 30. Alright. And this one here is what? 20. So, that is, and for this also, is radius what? Alright. So that is so you do your dimension is setting, come to your manual sketch, style editor, and do the nearest ratings you need to be there. So you save this one as let's say bush orthographic. You can use any name that suits you to your choice. Just ensure ensure you come to your edit here and edit the name, edit this area to what wants to actually be there. Okay, let's do the sectioning for this bush. I'm creating also okay base now. Base. I'm picking uh the bush. Picking the bush. I'm clicking on what open. Clicking on open. Let me see. Okay, let me use this week as my phone this time around. Okay, but we are drawing it in third and we make it harmonic here. So scale, let me use two ratio one also. Okay, two ratio one also. Okay, section pick this right here, down there, at the top, continue. Bam. Okay, you see. So this is better. So you do the necessary dimension settings at the max. So what I want you to do is do dimension, just like in the first one. Year to year. Eighteen. Don't be honest though. Here today will be 19 like that, so that you will be saying, have to work. I pick 18 there, I pick 19 there. Alright, so you need to pick the appropriate dimension. Alright, so here today is what? 19. Okay, when you pick 19, so the diameter 30, another diameter 20. So that's just how we work. So you do the necessary settings by yourself, alright? So take note of that. You name this one bush section. Alright, so you name it bush section. Okay, so. We change the details at the bottom. So let's do next. This should be the last part. All right, the last part. That should be all of the last part. Okay. So that's going to be what? Ah, no, not. We are going for not now. Okay. This one too should be straightforward for the not. I'm having this right here, this right here, then this right here, and this right here. Okay. For which you want this cape, which is okay. So my annotate. Dimension. Okay, let me use corner to corner. Okay, as I'm using corner to corner here, that doesn't mean you can also use corner to corner. Some of you might decide to go with, let's say, flat 
to flat across flat. You remember any one across flat across flat, across flat. So I can use across flat. Alright, it's your choice. So you can pick any of the two. We are using across corner here. Okay, so then uh, you hide from here to here. Yeah. So you don't have any business with the radius of this one. You don't have any business with it. All you have message is that you can be safe. Okay. That is it. Right there. Then you what? You control S as not orthographic. Name it not orthographic. Right. Not orthographic. You what? Enter. So you create its section part also. Its section part. Alright. So. So I click what not open. Okay, now I'm creating what this section. So I'm doing it in third and I'm having my plan right there. Okay, plan right here. Okay, section picking this from the center down here, then to the top right there. I'm having that right there. Okay, you can also section this part also, this top here. Uh, it's not in the center. Let me do it again. Okay. Go inside. You see. So right there. And you see those rules. So annotate dimension. Yeah. The union. Let's go to the union. Right there. Let me use across flat this primary for my dimension. The most important thing here is that hole and the height. Okay, the rest is what crap. That one is my design. So you save it. Do the necessary settings for the distance. So don't forget that. Right? I save this one as well. Well, not section. Not section. All right. So then for the last part here, create. All right. So base. Then you pick your what washer, which is our washer. You know, yeah, as an engineer, you need to be able to deduce appropriate dimension for your object. So that shows you are an engineer, original engineer, not fake like me. All right. So that ends with me. Okay. So this one, the loading here is not that much. It's good, simple, and what straightforward. Cheap like blank tubes. Logo this one about washer orthographic orthographic. Okay, don't forget to change the next details here as we did in that first part there. Please and please that one is very very important. But I'm going to advise you during the exam, all this name, whatever, whatever. First of all, do your okay. I'm going to explain that as we proceed. So the tips they actually help me in my exam in my exam test, I'm going to share with you guys. So because uh, you know, speed differs. Even the speed I actually have now, I didn't have it then, but at least I'm a little bit better then compared to now. So, consistent practice makes me better right now. So, a lot of thinking actually changes when the regulation actually comes. Regulation came, so a lot of thinking will change. So, I'm going to give you tips for you guys next phase, and those things are just going to be what and what carries mark. You understand? What that you can if you don't do them, it doesn't matter. I let you know all those steps. Yeah. I let you know all those steps. All those steps I let you know. Okay. Plan. Okay, the plan right here. Okay. This one there's nothing much. Right here. To the top. Okay. Okay, so dimension. The dimension this one is same as as Same. So the same dimension you use here is what you're going to apply right here. Okay. So that you name this one as what? As washer section. As washer section. That's it. So you are done. Yeah, that's the complete package of that slide for. So you can see that no beans. No beans at all. It's not no beans. So 
you will be amazed. Okay, Mr. Mike, if this one is given to me during your time, will I be able to finish it? Yes, it is very, very possible. If I, if I do this one in the exam, I think this video is one hour plus. I won't actually get to one hour. I'm going to finish everything because I'm talking. So, how many five now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Like, you can't count. I'm tired. So, that's just it. Okay, that is the end of this particular slide. Okay, so tips that will actually help you out in your exam. Alright, so one thing is this. Number one, all these parts. Ensure you draw those parts. Ensure you draw those parts. Draw the part first of all, alright? So, but the part you see you can't get immediately. You can leave it. You understand? And you know if your, part, if your part is not complete, you can't actually do this assembly. And without this assembly, you can't do this. You can't do this. And you can't do this. So, if your part is not complete, the only four things you can do are this. The rest, like this one's now. Uh, this one's. You can do this. So, those parts you created, if you see that you can't create the other parts, those parts you created, do their section, do their orthographic. Yeah, it's charismatic. You understand? Do their section, do their orthographic. So, it will just be that you are going to lose the mark for assembly, uh, assembly section, part list, maybe four drawings. At least you are going to go back for the rest. So, don't say so you can't get your other parts. You don't know what to do. You are wasting time. Don't waste time. Though. Do the sectioning, do the distance for the parts you created. Then you can now go back to uh, the other parts you feel you can't create. Then after having that, you can't still get it. You understand? So at least half bread is better than no. Yeah, half bread is better than what than no. Okay, so don't sleep on it. All right. So I'm going to end this year for now. Thank you for your time and good luck.